Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Can I have a quick plus one in the chat? If I am visible as well as equally audible, then we would start right away. Today I would take a little one or two minutes time to check my audio myself. Okay, because many people are complaining that I. Aditya Mure, Aditya Mure, can you please confirm if my audio is very clear and very natural or not? Just let me know because I have been fine tuning it for the last three to four hours. Good afternoon, Aditya Mure. Okay, I would increase the volume a little bit. Yeah, now it should seem absolutely fine. Yeah, just tell me. Okay, today we would be doing yesterday's problem of the day that is minimum sum. This question appeared in Google. Okay, this is a medium level problem. But if you already know that it's little low, yeah, I am making it a little high. Okay, now can you please just tell me if this is okay or not? Just tell me, okay? Okay, fair enough. Now the we have a success percentage of forty nine percent. Actually, why I am doing it live because I don't have any other option. Okay, we are given an array A R R of size n such that each element is from the range zero to nine. Okay, so we have been given an array A R R where each element is either zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Fair enough. Aditya, is this okay? Can you just confirm? if you are talking about the audio only or not now find the minimum possible sum of two numbers formed using the elements of the array formed using the elements of the array all the digits in the given array must be used to form the two numbers fair enough okay so we need to do two things okay what are the two things that we need to do the first one is that we need to use all elements we can't leave any elements audio okay so thanks a lot thanks a lot now the second observation is that we need to minimize the sum okay minimize the sum minimum sum now to do these two condition you need to use all elements so there is no way of skipping the larger ones and using the smaller ones and making the sum so we won't be having that we need to use all the elements the second thing is that minimum sum how can we do the minimum sum of both suppose two we can use only two so suppose x plus y to make the sum minimum we need to decrease both x and y both x and y that would be the most optimal approach now how can we say that we want to decrease x and y now suppose let me give you example suppose 563 we have 563 then if i decrease this one this element okay so it would be decreased to 562 if i decrease this element the element would become 463 in the same way if you increment it would become 46564 and this would become 663 okay so that but this is not the question why are you telling us this i am telling you this thing to tell you that suppose there is a number okay suppose there is a number 15725 so this would be the most significant and this would be the least significant okay now there are some properties of that suppose i want to uh, change this number to a little extent then i would touch what 
I would touch this side. If I want to uh, increment or decrement the uh, some digit and I want to do the change to a large extent to the number, then I need to go with this side. Okay, fair enough. So we know that we need to prioritize or the most significant size. Okay, most significant side first. This is our priority. What do I mean by this? And the second thing is that we need to make both this small. So let us now take this example and let us see how can we solve this by just drawing these two conclusions. Okay. So what we can do is, agar last wala element ko jitna bada man rakh sakte hain, aur starting ka element ko jitna chota rakho utna acha hai, utna element chota hoga humle humare liye. So what we can do is we can take the smallest number. What are the smallest number? The smallest number here is two. Okay, give this two. Okay. Now the second smallest number is three. So what should we do? This is x and this is y. So what should we done? Should we give three to this and then four to this? No, because we want to decrease both the variables. So what we can do is distribute equally. So first here, then here, this is done. Now the next smallest is remaining is four. So four again would come here. This is done. Next is five. 5 should come here. Next is 6. 6 should come here. And 8 should come here. Now, these two are now small. What we need to do is, we just need to reverse it. So, 2, 4, 6. And this would become 3, 5 and 8. Fair enough. Now, 2, 4, 6 and 3, 5, 8. Okay. 8 plus 6, 14. 5 plus 5 is equals to 10 and this would become 6. So, 6, 0, 4 is our answer. Okay, this is how we are getting the answer. Fair enough. So, we can see that if we just start distributing these elements equally, then we would do what? Why are we distributing equally? Because we need to make both the variables small to get the resultant value small. अगर हमें देश में बदलाव लाना है, तो सारी जनता को बदलाव करना होगा। Everyone should start with a change, not only one person. Same goes here also. Everyone should be small, so that it would contribute less to the sum and it would evolve as a minimum sum. Same thing. Next thing is that, अगर हमें कोई digit बड़ा ही रखना है and we need to use that digit only, there is no way that we can skip that digit. So, जो बड़ा digit होगा, उसको last में रखो, because last में रखने से वो कम change produce करेगा, and जो छोटा चीज, छोटा digit है, उसको आगे रखो, ताकि sum भी छोटा रहे, that is what we are doing, same thing. So, the problem arises, so now the main, main logic is solved. So, now main logic is solved, how to, how to get x and y. The problem would arise when you would see the constraint. What are the constraint? The constraint says that it would have a very large array. Now, suppose we would have the array range as 10 to the power, 10 to the power 5 or 100 or anything. So, there is no data type that can store this. Okay. So, what we need to do is we need to store this in the string. So, I would take small elements which can be there in integer but I can't take more than 10 to the power 9 because that would be very time taking and I won't be able to explain properly also. So, I would take a small number. So, what we can do is suppose we have 5, 7, 6 and then 8, 3 and 4. Yeah, 8, 3, 4. Let me make it 5 so that we can have a value carry. Fair enough. Now, this would be stored in string s1 and this would be stored in string s2. Okay, how did we get this logic? Kya se ye logic aaya ki string mein store karna hai? Because agar hume x or y chahiye and we know that we need that and wo data type integer long long int se bhi bada hai. 
so we would be storing that in string first because we need to re revert back the string only because it is shown that the return type should be string so here sir we got the idea that we can use string or either array anything that suits you fair enough so we would be storing string only okay and you need to take care of the ascii code okay you don't need to take care because the ascii code of 9 minus the ascii code of 0 would be 9 only fair enough okay so this was the second so now we need to add s1 and s2 what we would do is we would first take out the value how to take out the value string mein har ek value as a character rehta hai so we would take the value digit 1 is equals to the value character 6 minus the character 0 and we get digit 1 and then we get digit 2 that is character 5 minus character 0 so we have digit 1 is equals to 6 and digit 2 is equals to 5 and then we would initialize a variable known as carry to store the carry part fair enough and we would initialize it 0 because initially we don't have any carry then we would do what 6 plus 5 is equals to 11 okay 6 plus 5 is equals to 11 so we would write 10 to the power whatever the value whatever the value comes so suppose this value after adding d1 plus d2 is equals to v so we would write here what v percentile 10 okay then we would do what v divide by 10 whatever is remaining we would keep that in the carry itself okay fair enough so we would keep that and then we would keep doing this keep doing this the idea is such that as we used to do the addition by writing it now we do addition in our mind only but just remember the previous scenario where you were a school kid and you used to the 7 plus 5 is equals to 12 so 1 would go in the carry part and 2 would write here the same thing we would do in the terms of programming the small thing that you need to take care is this ascii value okay just this now as the implementation of this is very large and the dry run seems to be more important so i won't be coding it live today i would just be doing a dry run of the approach so let me take this while test case with me and we would do a dry run okay so let us start doing the dry run first we would paste the test case here okay what are we getting here and then we would write two values that is s1 and this is s2 fair enough then we would initialize s1 and s2 was initially empty fair then we would sort the values why sorting that value because initially we were finding the first smallest then second smallest then third smallest if we want these type of values then consecutively suppose whenever your need is to get the first smallest second smallest third smallest fifth smallest sixth smallest and the smallest would remain as it is then we need to use sorting now you need to edit the values also then you need to use priority okay just remember this so if we are just sorting this so after sorting this would look like 2 then 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 then 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 fair enough and we would mark the indexes also 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so initially we would first be in the index 0 so what we are doing here is that even wala we would do it in string s1 and odd wala we would do it in string s2 and the digits we would get as 1 2 3 like this only so what we are doing is we are just converting this to a string and this is a st so we are doing s1 plus so it would just add this to the string itself fair enough so arr0 which is a even value so 0 is an even value so we would take this so we would take this 2 convert it to a string append it to s1 then we would come here 3 3 is an odd number so odd would come to the s2 so 3 then 4 4 would come here then 5 would come here 5 is add is it odd then 6 it is even so it would come here 8 it is odd so it would come here 
okay so we now have s1 and s2 so let me just copy this and we would see how we are doing what okay so don't be frightened by this code this code seems a little bit long but it is absolutely very simple when understood okay so we are first doing what we are first taking out the size by i and j so i is will be equal to the size minus 1 that is 2 and j would be equal to 2 only fair enough and then we would have some value as sum where we would return this value okay this would be a string and then carry would be 0 as i told carry would initially be 0 and then what we are doing is if i is greater than 0 and j is greater than 0 first we are taking out the value d1 and d2 so we are starting from 0 so this is 0 1 2 starting for 0 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 we are doing it adding to the sum now why these two are there because if we have something like 1 2 and 3 and we have another thing like 3 and 2 then we would have this remaining so this remaining would be added directly this is what we are doing here if the carry is not equal to 0 suppose it is 7 7 and 7 7 then 7 plus 7 is equal to 14 7 plus 14 is equal to 7, 14 is equal to 15 so we would have the carry 1 then we know even after doing this we would need to append one more this is what this is the thing and then if the sum i is not equal to 0 what do we mean by this i would tell you what is the meaning of this just just a sec yeah fair enough so what do you mean by sum i is not equal to 0 because suppose it might be the case after doing the addition and all we are having the value as 1 0 0 0 so 1 0 1 0 0 would give you a wrong answer but this is correct so we need to remove this 0 and we need to return only 100 only so if it is not equal to 0 we would from that point only we would return the sub str that is the substring else if we are not able to return any of that we would just return 0 because suppose it is 0 0 0 0 0 so why to give too many zeros because it would give you a wrong answer so we would just return 1 0 so that is what we are doing fair enough so this was it i would still wait for the next one minute to see if any doubts persist or not if not i would just proceed okay count down one minute So this was it, I would still wait for the next one minute to see if any doubts persist or not, if not I would just proceed. Okay, okay, my audio is clear now, I am very happy. If you have any doubts, you can ask me now. This is an open forum. You can ask about anything you want. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day. If you have any queries regarding this question, you can ask me in the comment section. Have a nice day.